In our eighth or ninth grade, we were all asked to memorize the trigonometry table because questions related to it would appear in exams where we were not allowed to use the table. In my case, I would often confuse the values for 30, 45, and 60 degrees. And it was honestly so frustrating. I know one or two percent of viewers can recall the answers in their sleep, but for the remaining 98 percent today, I will show you an awesome trick that will make it super easy to remember. And you will not believe me if I tell you that all you need is your fingers, and that's it. So let us start. Very first step is to take your left hand like this and write angles like this. Zero degrees on the thumb, then 30 degrees here, 45 degrees on the middle finger, then 60 degrees here, and then 90 degrees on your smallest finger. First, we'll show you how to find the values of the sine of theta. Use this formula. Sine of theta equals the square root of fingers below divided by 2, and that's it. For example, let us find the value of sine of 0 degrees. This is 0 degrees, so the number of fingers below it is 0, because we do not have any fingers below it. Thus, sine of 0 will be square root of 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Noise, but that was easy. Let me show you a tough example. For example, sine of 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. So, the number of fingers below it is 1, 2, and this, which is 3. So, sine of 60 degrees is simply square root of 3 divided by 2, and that's it. See, it's super easy. Now, let us move to cos theta. Cos of theta equals the square root of fingers above divided by 2, and that's it. For example, let us find the value of cos of 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So, the number of fingers above it is 1, 2, and this, which means 3 fingers. Thus, cos of 30 degrees will be the square root of 3 divided by 2. And we are done. Awesome! Now let us look at cos of 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So, the number of fingers above it is 0 because we do not have any fingers above this finger. Thus, cos of 90 degrees will be square root of 0 divided by 2, which is 0. We are on fire. Now finally, we have the tangent of theta. Tan of theta will be equal to the square root of fingers below divided by the square root of fingers above. Let us look at tan 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. Fingers below are this and this, so, 2 and thus right square root of 2 here. Then, fingers above are this and this, which is also 2, and thus right square root of 2 in the denominator. Thus, the answer for tan 45 degrees is simply 1. Finally, let us look at tan 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Fingers below are this, this, and this, so, 3 and thus write square root of 3 here. Then fingers above is only this, which is 1, and thus write square root of 1 here. Square root of 1 is 1, and thus the answer for tan 60 degrees is square root of 3. That was super easy, isn't it? Now if I get 15,000 likes in this video, then I will make another math trick video, which will blow away your mind. So good.